So if we look at the Wikipedia page for basic, you can see here there's a keyword called input and what it does is it gets input from the user and stores it in a variable. Uh, this is similar to Python's input um, function, so we're going to be just using a keyword for now because we're going to be implementing functions later on after we have things like control flow, like if statements and for loops and while loops and things like that implemented. So the way we're going to do this is actually really simple. We can use uh, more features from Python, specific to Python, uh, by that, by which I mean uh, we can just use Python's raw input function. So we go to our lexer and we have to add a new keyword. So uh, when we do this, I'm just going to remove uh, the return tokens and replace it with a return uh, nothing. And then we're going to print the tokens to make sure that it's being uh, uh, that the lexer is working correctly. So we're just going to copy this and paste it down here. And all we have to change is this to input uh, and this to uh, input. I mean, we could just, you know, automatically lower everything to lowercase, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Uh, and we're going to say input here. So now if I run this, actually, before I do that, I have to actually use the function. So I'm going to say, um, this is the uh, syntax. It's going to say input. And then we're going to provide it like a string. So if we wanted to say, uh, enter your name, we would just say that. And then we would provide it a variable. So, whoops, uh, call it name. So we would provide a variable after that. And that's how we're going to store it. So this isn't a function. It's a keyword. Um, we're going to be doing functions later on. So this is the syntax. And if I run this, we just get input. So we're having a, okay, a slight problem. So the reason uh, we're only getting the words input is because we're having a problem here with a toke. So what we need to do is just um, say or toke equals space quote or space and then um, the end quote. So this is this means in a string if the string end if they say if the last character before the end of the string is a space then um, ignore it. So now if we load this, you can see. Uh, we get input, string, enter your name, and then var name. So as you can see, it's now working. That was actually a bug with uh, not just the input, but also the print. So if I used a uh, print, it would also um, uh, have that same bug. So now that we know our lecture is working, what we're going to do is we're going to oops, return um, the tokens, and then in the parser, we're going to uh, actually make it work. So if we go into the parser, we can uh, whoops, go in here and we'll say elif, and what we're going to say is tokes i, um, or actually we can say just tokes i plus uh, space plus tokes i plus one, and uh, actually come down here and just show you the syntax. So this is going to say input, and then we want to uh, say string colon, and then something. Anyway, any, we'll just leave it like that because it could be any string, and then we want a var colon a var variable or something. So that's the syntax we want. So this is the input, this is the space, this is the string, and this is the last space, and then this is the variable. So tokes i plus two, and we're going to say equals input uh, string var. So now if we uh, go down here and actually before we do that we want to just get the first six characters of the string again and the first three of the var so uh, not to three and then in here what we want to do get input because we're getting uh, we're retrieving input or we're um, you know getting input we're not actually um, you know, assigning anything or printing anything so we're going to say get input, um, and we're just going to pass it the variable name. So this case, it's going to, in this case, it's going to be tokes i plus two colon four uh, or i plus two, and then we want to just take that out and put that there. And we want to start in the fourth character and then move on from there. So we're just passing it the variable value, which is the value we want to store the input in. We actually, want to get uh, the string as well. So we'll take two parameters. And the string is just going to give us, you know, tell us what input to give to the user. So uh, what we're going to do now is now we've got the uh, get input. What we're going to do is get rid of that 
um, comment. And we're going to go up here and we're going to say def get input. And here we're going to say string and then the second parameter is the variable name, so we'll say var name. So what we'll say is um, we'll say i equals raw underscore input and then we'll say string. So this will just print our print our string out and store what we enter in the val in the variable i. Then what we'll say is um, symbols i uh, var name equals uh, for mi for the minute we're just going to assume it's a string, so we'll say string, and then we'll say plus i. So uh, that should be all we need to do. Um, so that should be all we need to do. So we're just going to run this now. Okay, raw input is not defined. That's uh, a Python two function, so I'll just change it to input and hit enter. So now you can see it says enter your name. So I'll say Francis and hit enter. Uh, okay, um, right, we have a slight problem. So as you can see, it's just going to keep asking us for stuff. So uh, what we want to do is we want to actually start in the seventh character to get rid of the first colon, because as you can see, there's a colon at the beginning of all this. So if we run that now, we say, it says enter your name, so I'll say Francis. And I'll hit enter, and it still uh, keeps asking us to enter our name. Asking us that it's because we need to actually move on um, to the next token. So I say i plus equals three because we're, three, we're dealing with three tokens. So if I run this and I say enter your name Francis, you can see the program exits because all we're doing is getting the input and storing it in the variable name. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say print name and it should print uh, what we enter. So if I say Francis McNamee. Uh, okay, it prints it, but it misses off the first character. So uh, let's fix that now. So the reason it's cutting off uh, here, as you can see, is uh, actually because we left out the quotes around the string. Because as you can see, it is actually storing it correctly. So if we go up here um, and we just put a quote around there. Oops, another one there. And we put another quote here. Uh, that should fix our problem. Uh, so if we run this again, you can see it uh, prints Francis. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say string, um, and I'm going to say 1 to minus 1, and this should get rid of the two colons, or the two quotes on the string. So as you can see, it got rid of them, and if we hit end, or we um, type our name or anything, so I'll say our code. As you can see, it gets stored in the variable and printed out beneath. Uh, and what I'll also do is I'll just, for aesthetics, put in um, a space. So if we run this again, now it says enter your name. We have a space between the input text and um, the uh, cursor. So if I say Francis McNamee, as you can see, it prints it out. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and follow us on Google+, and I'll see you next time.